I'll tell you what, the first time, uh, I think it was the first time I met Marty, he was, he'd come out to Fresno and, and he was fixing to go to do the movies. They were doing the cowboy movies and he had a new record coming out. And I, I liked it pretty good. And it was, uh, hit me a chord. Is that a D? Well, I never felt more like singing the blues Cause I never thought that I'd ever lose your love, dear You got to do me this way Well, I never felt more like running away Why should I go? I couldn't stay without you You got to see me the blues Stars no longer shine. The dream is gone. I thought was mine. Nothing left for me to do but try over you. Well, I never felt more like running away. Why should I go? I couldn't stay without you. You got to sing in the blues. Somebody play it. The bridge. The stars so long to shine. The dream was gone. I thought was fun. Nothing left for me to do. To cry over you. Well, I never felt more like running away. Why should I go? I couldn't stay. You got to sing in the blues Without you You got to sing in the blues the reason, the reason I never could remember the last part of that was because your daddy could never sing it because he started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got to tell you something. It's a mystery. And... Uh, it's unbelievable. I was on tour with Marty when I first came from Spring Hill, Louisiana to Nashville. I had a top ten record in Canada, and it was a big tour with Marlon Payne in Canada. And I got to really know him on that 30-day uh, tour. He told me that Webb Pierce gave him his first guitar when he came to Nashville. He said he had an old beat-up guitar, and Webb gave him a, a, a new Martin guitar, and he's always beholding to Webb. Well... He uh, had his first race in Nashville, the Winston uh, Cup race, and Webb Pierce sang the national anthem. Right. And I was in St. Louis, and Billy Deaton called me, and he said, Merle, Marty wants you to come and start the race. I said, I'm in St. Louis. How can I start the race? He said, Marty is sending a jet to pick you up. I said, sending me a jet? So I said, yeah, I'll do it. Well, yeah, that'd be great. So uh, a, a Rockwell jet came and picked me up in St. Louis, flew me to Nashville. There was a limo, rushed me to the racetrack. And uh, I got the, I said, on the way, I said, well, every other star in the world must be out of town. <laughs> and somebody suggested my name. And so I went up there and I waved that green flag and did what they told me and dropped it. I went back up. And upstairs in the, uh, the booth at the racetrack was Johnny Cash and everybody that was somebody in Nashville. And I cornered Marty a couple of days later. And I said, uh, Marty, I, I want to thank you so much for allowing me to start your race. Uh, but why me? And he said, why not you? And walked off. <laughs> I, I never understood it. With, with God, I, that I was know, one of the greatest honors jet, I've so. ever had. <laughs> But it's still a mystery to me, you know. Why me, Lord? He, he didn't have a jet, so I don't know. <laughs>